Understanding the phrase, have a blind spot. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating English idiom, have a blind spot. This phrase is commonly used in both casual and formal conversations, and understanding it will greatly enhance your English comprehension and expression. So, let's dive in. First, let's break down the literal meaning of a blind spot. Imagine you are driving a car. There are areas around the vehicle that you can't see through the mirrors. These are your blind spots. In this sense, a blind spot is a physical area that escapes your visual perception. This concept is not only limited to driving but can be applied to many situations where something is not visible or not noticeable by someone. Now, let's move on to the idiomatic or figurative use of have a blind spot. When used metaphorically, it refers to an area or aspect in which someone lacks understanding or fails to exercise judgment. It's not about physical sight, but about mental perception or awareness. For example, if someone is very good at mathematics but struggles with literature, you might say that literature is their blind spot. To help you better understand, let's look at some examples. 1. In relationships, he's a great guy, but when it comes to understanding social cues, he has a blind spot. 2. In professional settings, she is an excellent engineer, but she has a blind spot when it comes to public speaking. 3. Self-reflection, I know I have a blind spot regarding time management. I'm working to improve it. These examples show how the phrase can be used to highlight a weakness or an area for improvement in various contexts. When using this phrase, it's important to remember that it usually points out a specific area of weakness or oversight, not a general lack of ability. It's often used in a sympathetic or understanding way, rather than to harshly criticize someone. And that's all for today's lesson on the phrase, have a blind spot. I hope this explanation helps you understand and use this phrase more confidently in your conversations. Remember, we all have our blind spots, and acknowledging them is a part of learning and growing. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next English language learning video.